a little disclaimer before we start. If you find this procedure dangerous, don't do it. You don't understand a single word on how it should be done. Don't do it. You understand that I don't know what I'm doing. Don't do it. Yes, in 2020 mode like this one is old, obsolete and outdated. But look at it from a brighter side. If this video was made in 2022 then it would be much more old, obsolete and outdated. <coughs> Procedure in this video is for AMI BIOS. So for this task you need all of these tools. A 771 socket Xeon, filled with exploits of course. Then you need a sticker for the CPU moding. Yes, you see it good. A lighter. And a couple of screwing and cutting edge technology. So, dear friends, this is our improved PC from the last time. Now it powers itself on the power button. Don't forget to be grounded. This is our Xeon from another side. Pushing the sticker into the place. Aligning the sticker. And finally applying the sticker to the CPU. Our magnificent build from the previous video got a new power supply. And now we are going to cut these little two plastic extensions. This is our cutting edge technology, featuring a super sharp knife edge that cuts. Making the edge hot. Be careful, Bribdi. Yes, that is a much better angle. Cutting with our hot tool through the plastic, easier than through the hot butter. Be careful not to damage any pins. Hot tool must be kept hot. Okay, one side is already done. Keeping the hotness of the tool. Cutting. More cutting. Much more cutting. Patience is the key to success. And finally, the other side is also defeated by... Finish of the blade! Installing our Xeon into the motherboard that now supports both 775 and 771 CPUs. Adding a healthy dose of thermal paste. Hmm, <laughs> maybe it's too much. First run out of the case, just in case to see if we should continue. Yes, it functions. Cable management much better now. Chocolate UFO pudding superb. Simple BIOS update will unleash this CPU's full power. Finding the exact version of your motherboard and downloading the latest BIOS from the official manufacturer's site. And now you just have to download the MM tools and micro codes for your Xeon CPU. Links to this site are in the video description. Okay, we have downloaded all the files which are required to update our BIOS. So, micro codes, BIOS for our motherboard and MM tools. Now we have to load all the microcodes into the BIOS of our motherboard. Our Xeon is 45 nanometer technology. So in our BIOS we are going to load the microcodes for 45 nanometer CPUs only. We are loading our BIOS into the MM tools. That's it. The next step is to load all the microcodes into the BIOS. We are going to load every microcode one by one into the BIOS now. When we are finished adding every single microcode into our BIOS, we are going to save this BIOS under a new file. The final thing is to take this updated BIOS and update your motherboard with it. We are updating our BIOS using the tool which is included with the motherboard. Everything is done successfully and our computer is booted into an updated BIOS. We are going to do just a slight overclock. 
And that is it. We loaded our windows and everything looks fine. And as I promised, there is a world speed record for Xeon 5460. This CPU works at 3.6 GHz, but this video is sped up 10 times so it makes 36 GHz on air. But even running on such clickbait speeds, this CPU is slow. Well, at least we have a faster PC now and our power button lights in the dark. Mm.